Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking about how Star Stable should market their changing game because obviously there's been a lot of uproar among White Knights and Dark Knights about how the game functions, you know? Like, no one's ever happy. Nobody could agree on anything. But today I'm just really here to talk about the business perspective of what I think the game should do. Because most of the debate is over horses and quests. That's the two main topics, is there's too many horses, not enough quests. That's the general, I think, idea from Dark Knights. Meanwhile, White Knights are pretty much like, we love everything, and everything they do is good, and just be grateful. So, yeah. But either way, for the most part, I think a lot of people found this game because it's a horse game. So, I don't think there's any right or wrong opinions. We're just sharing our experience, our perspective, playing the game, because a lot of people are here for horses, other people are here for quests, other people are here from Starshine Legacy, other people are here from the old Star Stable games, that's okay. But in my personal opinion, I think a lot of the drama that goes down between White Knights and Dark Knights could be changed if the game had just changed the way it markets itself. So for example, Star Stable is pretty much well known as a horse game, right? So in my opinion, why don't they just capitalize off of that? Why don't they just say, we're a horse game, and do everything in their power to make it the most popular horse game ever, you know? All the horse races in the world, all of the horses, all of the horse features, like caring for horses, stable care, and different disciplines and different fun events for equestrian players. Just everything horse. Make it the best equestrian game ever. You know, whether it's challenging or not challenging, just do something to make it the best. What I've seen is a lot of people fighting over quests because they claim they joined the game for quests. However, they joined because of quests due to ads they saw regarding quests. For example, I saw an ad, like, maybe a year ago, and the quest, the quest, the ad, the ad literally said, join the story. And it had, like, a picture of Sabine, and then somebody I know saw a similar ad, and it said, Star Stable, follow the story, or be part of a story, and it had Sabine, Fripp, and I think Darko, and a few other characters. That's the issue. This is the big problem. From somebody who was in college at some point for marketing, for internet analytics, for learning this stuff, I just have to say, the fights among players, among White Knights versus Dark Knights, would come to an end, I think, if Star Stable had just changed its marketing perspective. When it constantly pushes out ads regarding quests, when they constantly talk about how much content they have, when they constantly make it seem as if they have all this story, you're making people think that it's a questing game, when in reality you should be capitalizing off of the horse game world because a lot of people want horse games and there's a lack of them. So why not just make your game the biggest and baddest horse game ever? At some point, people called Star Stable the best horse game, but at, but yeah, it, it was at some point, but over the past few years, the best horse game is now only given that title because it's the only horse game that we really have that's online and is multiplayer, and every other horse game I could think of either ended or it's mobile, so it doesn't count because no one really plays mobile games that I could think of. I'm sure there's a market, there definitely is, but a lot of people don't do mobile. I don't because why would I do that if I have a computer? I'm not a mobile game player anyway because I don't like looking at a mobile phone. I It, I, it makes me sick, honestly. I can't, I get nauseated, I can't do it, I'm a computer person, okay? But I just think if Star Stable changed the marketing of their game and if they just stopped focusing so much on quests and just threw out the whole marketing of, we're a questing game! 
ads focused on quests, I think if they stopped that, they would have a better audience who's happier. Because if you tell your players, we're making horses, then they'll just expect horse-related content. They're not going to really think about questing content, in my opinion, because if I join a horse game for horses, I'm thinking about horses. I'm not thinking about quests. But when the game says, we make quests, and you don't get those quests, you're going to be upset. So that's just my opinion. Personally, if I worked at Star Stable, I would have said, okay, if we can't keep up with the questing schedule, because personally, if I had to update the game weekly, I would burn out, okay? I would. And I can't imagine the stress that employees, game developers are under when they have to update weekly. And I think at some point in one of the articles, they did say that they're in 10 plus years of tech debt. I could be wrong. It might have been a employee review. Somebody said that somewhere. If that's true, that means the game has been so behind on quests, they can't even keep up from what I could tell. I mean, that would explain why the Baroness Racetrack took, what, 10 years to update? So if they had just put less focus on quests and more focus on horses and making better features for horses and all that, I feel like it would be a happier environment and way less stressful and also probably could provide way more income at the same time. So yeah, that's just my opinion. I'll continue more about like what they should do in their game soon in another video because personally, yeah, I would definitely go back to how the game was in 2016. But we're talking about now. Take the game state from now, what would you do? Because we can't go back in the past. So what are you going to do about the game right in this moment if you became CEO? So yeah, that's about it for today. Bye!